Howdy, I'm Robert Edmondson, biologist with the Texas A&M Forest Service, and we're here with Dr. David Apple. He's the professor and extension specialist with the Department of Plant Pathology and Microbiology at Texas A&M University. And today we're here to talk about taking samples from trees. Thank you, Robert. The first step in any plant disease management program is diagnosis. And as Robert said, we're here to talk about one of the steps for diagnosing oak wilt. There are several other steps to diagnose oak wilt. The one we're going to talk about today is sending a sample into the Texas Plant Disease Diagnostic Laboratory or some other clinic that specializes in plant diagnostics. The, the idea here is to collect tissues from the tree that uh, we suspect would be useful in growing the fungus out in the laboratory. Now we've selected this tree right here is because we suspect it probably has oak wilt. So there's two ways to do this. One of those is to collect a branch sample and the other is to cut a window into the side of the tree and collect sapwood tissue out of the tree. So the first one I'm going to do is to collect a branch sample. This is probably the easiest one and the one that most homeowners would probably uh, 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 would accomplish. So uh, uh, I'm going to walk over here and look around for a branch that I think would be a good one in order to collect the sample. And what I'm looking at is a part of the, a part of the tree that has uh, uh, some suspicious looking leaves on it and take a branch from that area. And I think I'm going to take ones right up here. Now I'm going to remove two samples in order to do this. So there's one. So if we take this branch and I'm looking at this part of the branch from about here down to about right there, or this is all good tissue, and I'm going to prune the, the uh, oh, Robert's going to prune the laterals off. Watch my fingers, Robert. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, okay. Why don't you give us one right there? All right. Okay. All right, and uh, uh, why don't you cut it about right in half, right there. Okay, so these we're going to use. We're going to take tissue from this one. Why don't you just cut it off about right there. And maybe down in there somewhere. Okay, why don't you cut it right there. Okay. So now we have enough tissue here for our sample. You can go ahead and remove the laterals off of it. Now the next thing we want to do with this is to put it in a plastic bag like this, and then roll it up. We're going to seal it, and then we're going to put it into an ice chest that has what's called blue ice uh, uh, in there to keep the sample cool. And we always need to be sure that the sample is kept cool because if the sample gets too warm, it will kill the fungus and therefore it won't be of any use for diagnostic purposes. So we need to try to keep it cool. And we've got our branch sample like this. Now it's important, I strongly recommend, that uh, you go to the website of the Texas Plant Disease Diagnostic Laboratory. The website is Plant Clinic dot tamu dot edu and on the main page of the website there will be a pull down menu that has uh, submission forms and instructions on it and they will give you more details on how to collect the sample and they will also have an, a form that needs to be filled out that will be placed into the ice chest with the, with the sample. Usually we recommend to take the form and put it into a plastic bag all by itself so that it doesn't get uh, moisture on it or anything and they can read the form. You fill out the form completely. Now this costs $35 in order to have an oak wilt diagnosis done in the, in the classic way that they're doing it right now. So this, this would be a viable sample. Now I would recommend to do this 
at two or three locations on the tree. It won't cost, it'll still be just considered to be one sample for $35. So you get representative areas on the crown of the tree and you will increase the chances of getting the pathogen out of the tree if that's what the cause of the disease is. The fungus can be eliminated from the sample by heat. So therefore, during the hottest time of the summer, it isn't very useful to take a sample because the fungus will be killed back from the top of the tree in the high heat. So we really recommend taking samples during the less hot times of the year. So up until May or June, you're still good. And then you can pick it up again in September, October during that period if you're gonna do a laboratory diagnosis. So this is the second technique that we do to collect a, a sample off of a tree to submit the sample to the Texas Plant Disease Diagnostic Lab or other clinic in order to get an oak wilt diagnostic test. This is the bowl sample. Now, this one's a little more involved than taking a branch sample because we have to get the outer bark off of the tree to get down to the sapwood where the fungus is infecting the tree. So in, in this case, Robert's going to sterilize the axe with a little bit of 95% ethanol. This is what I usually use because we have a lot of ethanol in the lab. You can also use Lysol. You can use 10% uh, uh, sodium hypochlorite, more commonly known as Clorox, and anything to clean the tools if you're using them to collect a lot of samples so that there won't be any cross-contamination with the samples that are taken. And this would also go for the uh, pole pruner that I used and the loppers that we used in uh, the collection of the branch sample. So what I'm going to do is simply start taking the bark off of the tree. So let me just stop here for a second and show that I'm taking all the outer bark off and then I'm taking the inner bark off, and that's this pink material right here, because I want to get down into the sapwood, which is the white wood right here. So this is what I'm looking for. You want to get all this pink uh, uh, inner bark off. If it comes in with a lot of bark on the attached to the sapwood, once again, that bark will have lots of contaminants in it and it will be difficult to get for them to get it out in the lab, get the fungus out in the laboratory. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this one up a little bit. Okay. All right, so there's my window. Next, Robert's going to clean my chisel off. And we're going to go ahead and chisel some of the sapwood out of the tree. What I'm trying to do here is get strips of this, uh, of this outer sapwood out of here. Again, this is where the oak wilt fungus colonizes the tree. You don't need to go in any more than an eighth to a quarter inch to get the proper sapwood out. And usually it comes off in strips as I'm using this chisel. Okay, so now we've got our sapwood. Now, the next step is we've got this big wound right here. And since we're dealing with oak wilt, and wounds are the infection court where the fungus is introduced into new trees, we go ahead and, and seal this wound with a wound paint. And this is true of all the wounding that we do on the tree, including the wounds that were taken for the branch sample. Now let me say something about this technique. If you get a negative, 
that doesn't tell us absolutely that the tree doesn't have oak wilt because we can have what we call false negatives. And that means that the sample, the tree might have had oak wilt, but the sample that you sent in doesn't have the fungus in the tissue. And that happens sometimes. This fungus is not completely distributed throughout the entire sap system or the xylem of the tree. And that's why we go to such great lengths in order to get as much representative tissue out of the tree as we can by making these windows. Thank you, sir. Certainly.